Hello friends, it's Zoe and welcome to my long-awaited island tour. I have seriously just been playing this game non-stop since I got it, so I thought that I would show you guys what my island looks like before I need to tear it down. Um, but yeah, my island's name is Moonrise after one of my favorite movies, Moonrise Kingdom. So this is my little entrance, there are some nice flowers and peach trees and in the center we have the moon and crescent moon chair because I thought that it was quite fitting since my island's name is called Moonrise. And to the left of the entrance we have the public garden with a nice fancy fountain and some benches. I wanted to find a way to use the new shrubs that were added and I must say I'm quite happy with how this area came out. Above the garden, we have the resident plaza area, and for my island flag, I chose a photo from the movie when Marnie was there because I thought that it also fit with the little moon theme I had going on. Next, we have the museum, and I've seen so many people have extravagant entrances with their dinosaur fossils, but I just have this little guy. He's pretty cute. Also, I saw this balloon and could not pass it up, but please tell me that I'm not the only one who still struggles using a slingshot. <laughs> And it's a standing toilet, yay. But overall, I love this area and it's so fun seeing my villagers enjoy it too. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the museum because I feel like it's so underrated, but do you guys see these graphics? Just like, wow, Nintendo has seriously outdone themselves. I think my favorite room would have to be the aquarium because it reminds me of the giant ones that I went to both in Shanghai and Singapore and it just brings back really good memories. And these are just some clips of my friends and I having fun in the museum. Okay, so right outside the museum, we have this little outdoor garden area for my villagers to rest after, you know, getting a little cultured. We have a book, a puzzle, which I actually customized to be a scene from Spirited Away, and some cream and sugar. And then right below is my picnic area. We have a variety of food options and of course some Bop and KK slider playing. Right here we have a little public bench and phone booth which I actually got a pretty cute photo with Marshall so I'll insert it right here. <laughs> what a cutie. So we're just gonna make our way back through the garden. Oh hey Tangy! <laughs> She's so cute. Um, and then right behind the resident plaza we have the mini arcade slash recreational area. <laughs> We got some pool and tennis tables, arcade games. I'm now realizing that I only have two seats for the arcade games, but it's fine. And then right next to the arcade, we have the music stage. I love pretending that I'm in a girl band with my friends and sometimes the villagers even sing and play the instruments, which is so freaking cute. So we're just gonna make our way over this beautiful diagonal bridge to my pool area. Here we have some poolside beds with some coconut juice and water because it's important to stay hydrated, kids. And then over here we have a Cosmo shower to rinse off the chlorine from the pool. The next area is my little outdoor laundry station. I like to think of this as an elevated laundromat. The Moonrise laundromat has everything covered. We have washers, dryers, a little waiting area, an ironing station, and even a sink with some sewing supplies if needed. And it also has an area to hang dry your clothes. So moving on up, we're going to make our way to my little orchard, which is organized alphabetically and has custom designs to mark the fruit because I'm just extra like that. And in between my orchard, there's a stone path that leads to my semi-private wishing area. I wanted to have a dedicated spot because one of my favorite things to do in this game is to have wishing parties with my friends, and I must say that this area looks quite nice at night. Okay, so we're just gonna make our way down and then head to the campsite area. So this is my campsite. To be honest, I don't have too many visitors, but I did have stitches once. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I actually found the X's for his eyes to be a bit creepy, so I didn't take him. Please don't hate me! Even though I don't have that many visitors, I still wanted to make this area as comfortable as possible, so I added a barbecue, picnic table, a little hammock to use at their leisure, and sometimes my friends and I use it as well. <laughs> Right 
Right below the campsite, we have my outdoor library and cafe. This area was inspired by a fancy Starbucks that I went to in Asia, and I remember seeing a group of women having a little book club, and I thought it was so cute, so hopefully my villagers can do the same. So as you can see, my Joy-Con kind of glitches when I move to the right, and I don't want to bore you guys, so we're just going to teleport to the next area. Yeah, that wasn't the smoothest transition, but anyways, we're just going to make our way down to the beach. Do, 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 do. And then here we have my cha cha matcha. <laughs> this is hands down my favorite part of my island, and it was also the first part that I built out. If you guys have seen my other videos, you would know that I'm obsessed with cha cha matcha, and I miss it so much, especially during this quarantine. So I just made my own. <laughs> Hello, present day Zoe here. Um, I just want to say that I will no longer be supporting cha cha matcha after recent discoveries. Um, but yeah. Back to the tour. <laughs> Here's a clip of me pretending to be a little macharista with my friends, but in reality, it would probably go something more like this. Hi, what can I get you? Um, sorry, we're all out of oat milk. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> R.I.P. Cha Cha Courier. But moving on to the right side of my entrance, here we come to my playground. And I just gotta say, I love the primary color scheme going on here. It's just so fun and playful. Here we have a little teacup ride, a popcorn machine, this spinny wheel thing. Also, did you guys know that you can sit on the playground? <sighs> this game, man. And we're just gonna do a little loop-de-loop -loop back to the resident plaza and then go to the right. Here we have a little sitting area which my villagers seem to enjoy. Yes, I have Raymond and yes, he is overhyped. Uh, I'm sorry, don't come for me. And next we come to my marketplace area with my nooks and able shops. When I was designing my island, I knew that I wanted to keep my shops near the airport because I have friends coming and going to either shop or sell their turnips, so I just wanted to make it easier for them. Right here, we have some vending machines for my villager snacking purposes, aka Zuckers. <laughs> and then also a few tables for, I don't know, coffee dates? <laughs> and then right below, we have my Riverside Park area. This was inspired by Governor's Island, which is one of my favorite places here in New York. I love just biking along the riverside or... Is it a river? I think it is. <laughs> and then down here, we have a little beach area with some lounge chairs, sand castle, and this Totoro in the sand. Ah, so cute. Okay, so now we're gonna make our way to the right side of my island. And guys, look how freaking adorable Marshall is. <laughs> So this is my residence area. The first house we have is Flip, who is my starter jock villager. And I admit that I didn't really decorate his front lawn that much, but that is because I made him a little muscle beach. This was inspired by the muscle beach at, I think it's like Santa Monica or Venice Beach in LA. You guys know that I love to work out, so I was hoping that my villagers would use this gym as well. But to be honest, they don't really, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh hey, it's my dude Flip. And yes, I did make my villagers call me Potat. Um, no, I do not want to go on patrol jogs. <laughs> and then right next to Muscle Beach, we have my smoothie stand. I actually found these custom designs off of Pinterest and I thought that they were so cute. Here we offer smoothies, coconut juice, and some fancy infused water. <laughs> And to the right, we have my pier, which I dedicated to crash landing on you. I wanted to recreate that one scene where he was playing the piano on the dock in Switzerland, and I'm actually pretty proud of how this came out. I think that using Rover's briefcase really pulled the scene together. <laughs> So going back to my residence area, here we have Fuchsia's house who was my second starter and as you can see, I tried to decorate everyone's front lawn with items that either went with the color of their house or fit their personality and hobbies. Here we have Peanut's house and she's a very cutesy and peppy villager so I gave her this cute pink slide and a pink plastic pool. And then right next door is Marshall and it just so happened that my squirrels ended up being neighbors which I thought was pretty cute. I will say though, I originally decorated this front lawn to match Dizzy's house, um, but you know the blues still kind of go together. <laughs> 
I have seriously grown to love Marshall so much. He's so funny. I love everything that comes out of his mouth. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm gonna miss him so much. And then right behind Marshall's house, we have Bubbles, who, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of, just because she ended up getting a bit annoying. Um, but I still wanted to decorate her front lawn. And right next to Bubbles, we have Tangy's house, and her house is so freaking adorable, so I just tried to play with the whole orange, green, and white thing going on. And now we're just gonna make our way up these steps. So there is a bit of a jump in the footage, but this is Raymond's house. I don't really get the hype about him, um, but yeah. Next we have Norma, who I adore, and she was actually the first villager who I invited to my island. And then right behind Norma, we have my baby, Zucker who's a freaking takoyaki. <laughs> He's so cute. Zucker is always talking about snacking, so I gave him two ramen stalls. I found these custom designs off of Reddit, and I swear people in the AC community are so creative. And I also have the OG Shin Ramen and a cute little Shaolong Bao. And next to Zucker is my newest villager, Pansetti, who I had in my campsite and I thought that she was cuter than the eagle that I had, so I decided to take her. And I was actually pleasantly surprised that her house ended up being yellow. Over here we have a nice little waterfall that leads to my zen garden area. And then behind we have this private tea area within this mini bamboo forest, I guess? I don't know, it looks nice in photos. Yeah, my zen garden area was definitely not complete, but what can you do? So we're just gonna make our way back and go up these stairs and here we have my dim sum restaurant. I know, so original. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of us have some sort of Asian restaurant on our islands because do you see that imperial dining table? How could you pass that up? Here we have my lucky cats and a little koi fish model which I thought were pretty fitting for any Chinese restaurant. Next to my restaurant, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this area so I just made a tiny flower field. Also, can we just agree the flowers look the best at 5pm? Oh, that golden hour lighting. I saw on Instagram that if you customize a beach towel to look like the grass, then you can lay in your flower bed and it looks so nice and you can get some really cool shots. And then to the left, we have yet another picnic area because what can I say? Your girl loves a good picnic. <laughs> I will say that this area is a bit more secluded, so it would be perfect for like a picnic date if I had an AC bay. Um, but yeah, here we have a nice heart-shaped pond. And then down here, this was going to be my little wedding area since June is wedding season, but since I need a restart, I didn't get a chance to finish this area. Okay, so we're gonna teleport to the last place of the tour, which is my house. Here we have a garden table with some coffee and a painting that I customized to be Totoro. I wanted to keep the backyard pretty natural, so I have this outdoor bath, some flowers, I still kept some trees. I have a bird bath and this nice looking swinging chair thing. <laughs> Here we have my dog house and this plushie, which I'm just pretending is the Frank. <laughs> All right, let's go inside, shall we? So when you walk in, this is my living room. Next to the entrance, I have an umbrella stand, my house slippers, and this fancy intercom. Over here is the TV area, and as you can see, I'm currently watching some YouTube videos on my laptop, of course. To the left, we have this dresser, and then here is the little office desk area, and I customized the computer screen to be Photoshop because that's like 50% of my job. So next is my kitchen, which you guys might have seen on TikTok, but this is definitely my favorite room in my house. I was going for like a white and yellow color scheme with some pops of red. I know I'm pretty basic with my ironwood furniture set, but it just goes with everything, man. I love it. <laughs> and if we just meander over to the room on the right, here we have my bathroom. And let me just change into my self-care outfit. 
For my bathroom, I was trying to go for like an indoor sauna vibe, so I used the cloud flooring to make it look like there was steam on the floor, which I thought looked pretty cool. And if we go to the back, here we have my private tea room. To be honest, I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do with this room, but I wanted to make use of the kimono stands that I had, and I'm pretty sure that this is the most expensive room in my house. And if we go upstairs, this is my bedroom. This room is a lot girlier than my room IRL, but I don't know, I thought it was pretty cute. So here's my bed area and of course I have a camera because I didn't forget about you guys and then I have a little TV where I can play with my Animal Crossing Switch. Over here is my desk and I customized the computer screen to be the lo-fi girl because I'm always listening to that playlist. And then in this corner we have Franklin's bed and his food bowl. So the last room is the basement and to be honest I haven't really figured out how to decorate it so for now it's just my turnip room. <laughs> Here's what it looks like when the room is full of turnips. Uh, did I go overboard? So that concludes my island tour of Moonrise 1.0. Let me know if you guys would want another one of my next island. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye!